Hello, I welcome you all to this wonderful session. This is 2024 GCE Paper 2 Geometric Progression Question. Let's see how we are going to answer this particular question together. Some things that we need to note, like I always tell you, I won't only teach you how to answer this particular question, but this question should open up your mind now to answer other questions. We dive into the question. The question is saying the three the first three terms of the GP are 2 da, 3w minus 2, 3w plus 6, 3w plus 30. Find the value of w. That's the first question. So when you are taught to find the value of uh, uh, x, value of p, value of m, so the value of uh, unknown number, what you need to do is that you know that this is the first term so you say first term term one this is the second term you say term two this is the third term so term three for you to find the value of uh, w what we are going to do we are going to say t3 divide t2 which is equal to t2 divide t1 this is the formula we need to use and this is the question this is the formula you should be using on each question that comes in an exam you substitute what is t3 t3 is there this is 3w plus 30 over t2 that is 3w plus 6 t2 is also 3w plus 6 over First term, the first term is there, 3w minus 2. This is what we are given. What are we going to do? Cross multiply. We want to find the value of x. So we are going to have 3w plus 30, like this. Then we also have, this is 3w minus 2, which is equal to, we also multiply the 2, 3w minus plus 6 where we are also going to have uh, 3w plus 6 and I cross like that so this is what I've come up with then I start to what expanding so I get this one multiplied with everything in that bracket 3w times 3w that is 9w 3w times negative 2, that is minus 6w. So this is 9w squared. Have you seen? 3 times 3, 9. w times w, w squared. So I'm done with this one. I go to this one. 30 times 3w, that is plus 90w. 30 times 2 negative 2 that is negative 60 i'm done with the first part i move to the second one 3w times 3w i get 9w squared this same one times that one that is plus 18w i go to 6 multiply with everything this side 3 times 3 that is plus 18 w then 6 times 6 that is 36 so plus what 36 this is positive that is positive when this one comes inside it comes negative so it's just a matter of you cancel out those two it is at this point where we add the two when we add these two we are going to get uh so here this is minus so negative 6 plus 90 so what are we doing? So we say negative 6 plus 90. The answer you get is 84. So it is 84W minus 60, which is equal to, even here you add 18 plus 18, that is 36W, then plus what? 36. This is what we are going to have. We group the like terms together. So this is 84W. This is positive. When it comes inside, it becomes negative. 
36w which is equal to this is what 36 when this one comes this side it is plus 60 then i saw what is 84 minus 36 what answer am i getting i'm getting 48 w which is equal to when i add here i'm getting 96 divide both sides by 48 so that i find the value of w 48 even here 48 this and that cancels out therefore w is equal to 96 divided by 48 i get a 2 so meaning that w is 2 this is what you are supposed to do w is what 2 so the value for w there i found w is what w is just 2 that is the value for w this is what you need to get we now move to b b i'm told to find the nth term we know that we are dealing with a gp this is geometric progression so meaning that the formula for any term is this one a r n minus one and for us to find the common ratio what are we going to do we do this this is the common ratio so we can say t1 divided by t2 so we know that this is the first term we know that w is what 2 so 3 times 2 6 6 minus 2 3 times 2 6 6 minus 2 that is 4 so this one is 4 the first term is 4 second term we know that it is what there 2 3 times 2 6 6 plus 6 12 so here we've got 12 as our second term so finding the common ratio we say second term divided by first term which is equal to second term that is 12 over first term 4 which is what when we divide there we get 3 so common ratio is 3 first term first term is what 4 first term is 4 so we just substitute these two in that equation so we say t that one n is equal to first term for common ratio three so three so i do this to the power t n minus one so this is the answer just like that that's what i'm supposed to do the next question i'm told to find the sum of the first four terms how then can i find the sum of the first four terms before i answer that one those of you that could like to join our online lessons we get to offer tuitions in mathematics chemistry physics biology as well as english language this is the number you need to whatsapp only serious people that wants to join only serious people that wants to join us we get to do live sessions on telegram so this is the number you need to whatsapp you need to whatsapp me on this number let us now go to the next question find the sum of the first four terms so the sum of the first four terms what you need to know and understand is that if the common ratio is greater than one the formula we get to use we say common ratio is greater than one so i'm going to say it is like this then i say common ratio like this minus one over common ratio minus one this is the formula i need to use and this is the formula i will use so this is the formula to be used where i just say here first four terms so n is four you can answer this one you can finish it a is four common ratio is three you substitute we are able to answer this so that one is four which is equal to first term four common ratio three to the power of four minus one over three common ratio is three three minus one what is the answer there so you know that uh, three to the power four the answer is eight one eight one times four so 81 times 4, 81, 81 times 4, 
you are getting what 324 divide the 2 here you are getting a 2 so when you divide there divide 2 what answer are you getting 162 162 so you just say therefore the sum of the first four terms is what 162 as your answer this is your answer you are done this is what you need to do these are certain things you need to understand thank you so much for watching this particular video let's help you get a distinction in the subjects that you are facing challenges we are here to help you get that distinction so this is Addison J Zuru tutor if you are new to this platform make sure you follow us make sure you subscribe thank you so much